Welcome back everyone to another episode of Soul Textures. My name is Ferdi and in this tutorial we're going to be looking on how to create the horizontal alignment inside 3D. Now don't worry, I've prepared a tutorial file for you so you can follow through. Without further ado, let's begin. In the tutorial file I prepared, you will see a topographical survey X drift in, drawn road. Uh, basically, it's just a simple draft I knocked up uh, like just before I started the tutorial. And then on the right hand side, we've got some standard, let's say, exercises. So we've got a straight line, right turn, left turn, a I named the snake road. So basically, we've got one left turn and then one right turn. And then we've got one road, which is the weird one where the, it's not tangential. And we've got one arc that's tangential. So we're going to show you how to use the side 3D tools. So you can create this one so stay tuned so now let's go ahead and fire side 3d and all we're gonna do is click open and then xref and then go to a topographical survey hit open and let's save the side 3d file so i'm just gonna overwrite the previous tutorial i made and now because the topographical survey has 3d points if we hit the display 3d view you will see that there is an existing ground model however there are some spikes now if you want to fix this you can simply go right click layers and then all we need to do is just minimize the model design and just let's view the stuff that we think these are so i think these are electric cables so if we go and look for electricity and we turn it off from the surface see it fixed it and then here I know it's a building, so we're just gonna go to building uh, or building levels. There we go. We hit OK and just explore it slightly. You can see that our topographic server is ready. Now let's bring our colors just to make it look pretty. And then we're gonna go file, import, AutoCAD uh, DXF slash DWG. Now we're gonna bring our tutorial DWG file and once we bring it in, we're gonna start. The whole point of the horizontal alignment design is basically designing the shape of the road from a plan view. So basically, uh, if it goes straight, left, right, uh, what curves, radius, all these things. We will need the center line tools. And to start with, we need to start drawing lines. So basically our horizontal lines. So we will use the new center line. And now there is two ways you can draw inside 3D. A, you can draw uh, by snapping from vertex to vertex, adding everything, so basically manually. Or B, if everything from the DWG file is set up correctly, so you've drawn your lines tangential, everything is nice and smooth, and the polylines are actually indeed connected, then you can just simply select the line to do that you can right click and you have two options or new line or select line if we go select line you can see it highlights the polylines now you can see that here they're separated so it won't it, when i will select this one create one row and here all of them are uh, connected for the purpose of this tutorial we're gonna use solely side 3d and only once the select line in the actual live exercise right click new line so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to snap to vertices or hit f3 and we're gonna snap from bottom to top and then right click finish now then we're gonna do the same for the right turn left turn but in this case we're gonna do two different things we're gonna use a the arc snap and then we're gonna just do the extension so we can show you in case you don't want to follow the actual drawn shape and you want to specify your own so we're gonna go new center line and we're gonna we have our snap vertex enabled so we're gonna snap here there and then we're gonna hit snap to arc we're gonna select the arc and then snap to vertex and we're gonna snap here and it will snap automatically and right click finish and you've got row two now for the left turn before we start snapping what i would suggest doing is hit the extend select this one extended and select this one extended now we're gonna go new center line and you're gonna select snap to vertex it's enabled and then we're gonna snap here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna enable the snap to intersection. And then I'm gonna enable the snap to vertex. And we'll snap here, right click, finish. Now once this, if you hit close toolbar, the extension lines will disappear. But if we go back to new center line tool and we go to add arc and select this vertex, you can see now we can add an arc. Now, if you right click and enter a radius, we can actually enter a radius. So you can see this one was 25, we can do 25, or you can right click, enter a radius, and we make it 30. So basically, you need to be, uh, when you do the arc and you wanna change it, you just need to hit add arc and then hover over the arc you wanna change, right click, enter radius, and just change it. So you don't have to left click. 
you can see the mouse clicks on the bottom of the uh, left hand side of the screen let's go to the snake road so the snake road we're gonna go new center line we're gonna snap snap on our start of the tangent point snap to arc we're gonna select this one then snap to the end of the tangent point and then snap to arc select the arc and then snap to the end and then right click finish we've got our road four and now we're gonna do the weird snake road so this one we're gonna use again the extension tools so extend we're gonna select this one to extend and then this one to extend now we're gonna go new center line we're gonna snap and we're gonna snap to intersection and then we're gonna snap just before we start our tangent point for this curve because i know this one was drawn correctly snap to arc and then snap right click finish if we go close toolbar to just remove the uh, extension lines new center line and go add arc and we're gonna select our vertex and we're gonna just make an arc so if we quit command we've got road one two three four and five now if we want to rename them we can go to the center line properties select the road you want to rename so let's say this one and we're gonna rename it to straight line you can see here we've got a straight line and then here we're gonna hit center line properties right turn hit okay then the same for the left turn so basically it's just an exercise so you can get familiar with the commands a few moments later so we finish these now because we're gonna not only draw the horizontal alignment but we're gonna draw the actual carriageway so basically we're gonna specify it let's just do it really quickly for these standard ones so we go new center line and then we're gonna go to channels curves and footways and then we're gonna hover on which road alignment we want or we, in this case straight line and then i'm just gonna use the standard one just so you can see and hit ok and you can see it created a road with footpath now if you want to edit it in terms of widths and stuff you can go to channels curves and footway and then it will uh, when you hover over it it would highlight and then left click and then for example we want to change the left side only so we go pick and you can see it tells for example we want to make it six meter for some weird reason if we hit okay you can see that's our center line and that's the left side uh, new left hand side dimension now if we could do the same for the rest right turn for example we do not want a footway on this one hit okay you can see footway and if we go channel curves and footways over over the left turn left click and let's say on this one we do not want a no we want a footway so we hit okay that's our footway now for the snake road we're gonna do the same we're gonna select it and we're just gonna let's say this one we need a three meter footway hit okay you can see it's three meters and then we've got the weird one we're gonna left click again and then let's say in this case we don't want to create a right channel we're going to just create a left one if we hit ok you can see created just a left hand side road now the reason i'm showing this is because that's how we're going to design our existing road now let's go to our actual model so we've, we're going to pretend that this area is an existing road it's not actually an existing road from my memory but let's go ahead and pretend it's an existing road so to design an existing road we will just need the one side of the road we don't have to design the full road because when we draw our roads everything is perfect three meters three meter uh, two meters footway everything is perfect like you can see it's everything is aligned but usually that's not the case with existing roads so that's why we're going to design only one side of it so we're going to go to new center line and make sure our snap to vertices is enabled and we're going to snap here 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 Basically, we're going to snap to our vertex point and then right click finish. That should suffice for now. I'm going to go to show the long section and hover over road one, left click, and I'm just going to maximize my screen. And you can see the red line is our uh, road that we designed, so with the vertical alignment, and the green is the existing ground. We're going to bring it down to the existing ground. So to do that, just hit the level to surface. If this uh, bar is not there, just click on the center line tools of the long section window and it's going to ask us which survey we want the current survey and hit ok and we're going to close it and what we're going to do now is create our existing road like basically the physical uh, model of it so we're going to go channel curves and footway select road one now because we drew it from left to right and 
this is the carriageway and we are on the right hand side we are gonna untick the left hand side we're gonna untick the right is duplicate of left we're gonna create a right channel and we're gonna create a right curve now in the right channel we're gonna keep it zero and we're gonna just hit ok now if we go to 3d view you can see that's our curve line so now what we're gonna do next is to rename it and let's name it existing so we go center line properties hover over road one and then just name it existing road now let's do our actual road so we're gonna go to new center line and this one i'm gonna show you the select line uh, option so if before we do anything we just right click select line and see it will highlight the lines that we can select now i'm gonna select my center line in this case and now it's asking me for direction so you can see that arrow if i want to start my road from there so that means that's the left hand side and that's the right hand side or if i want to start from the left hand side like here where my mouse is that is the left hand side and that's right so we're gonna do it this way and that's road one and that's where the text is and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the rest for the same roads but in this case we're just gonna draw them so we can just get used to it so for this one we're just gonna snap snap again right click finish and then for the axis road snap and then snap right click finish now we can rename them and let's go ahead and do it so we go center line properties let's name this one road a and then center line properties unless this one road b and then center line properties road c we've got our road uh, named now so now let's create the actual physical model of it so we're gonna go channels curves and footways we're gonna select road a and now because we actually can see what we want we're just gonna go and hit the pick and we want to snap on this line so one way to do it is snap on the vertex or you can select the snap to any point along lines so you can see here on both ends is three meters so so we're gonna left click and then we're gonna do the same for the footway so the footway is two meters so if we hit ok it will pick up that we have an existing road and we're gonna hit create junction and it created our junction now if we go to the 3d uh, view you can see it stop the curves created the junction and we have our road now we're not gonna go into how to design the vertical but only how to design the horizontal and subsequently the shape of the road if you may so carriageway then we're gonna go again channels curves and footway we're gonna select the road b and we're gonna do the same pick and we're gonna snap for the carriageway and then pick for the footway and snap on the footway and then we're gonna hit OK. It picked up that road 8 is there, so it is prompt us for a junction. We're gonna hit create junction. You can amend the radius of the bellmouth. So we're gonna just keep it the same for now. Create junction and it created the road. Now let's say we wanna delete it. So you can go delete center line and it will delete the whole thing. So if we were gonna draw this manually, we would go new center line, snap to vertex, start from here snap to the tangent point then snap to arc and again snap to tangent point snap to arc select the first one select the second one select the third one and then snap to vertex at the bottom right click finish and we've got our road one and let's rename it again center line properties road b hit ok and then we go channels curves and footways over over road b left click and go pick you can actually type the command if you want enable your snap to any point along the line and then we do the same for the footway and we hit ok and we create our junction and you can see create our junction here now let's do the same for road c so channels curves and footways road c pick that's it and for the footway we're gonna select these ones now i'll show you why we're creating a footway now there is no footway on the rest of the road but there is here the reason i'm doing this is because the footway on this side is for belongs to road c so therefore we still need to create it so it's two meters so we're gonna hit okay and create junction 
Now we need to do our turning head. The way I would do it is just create a new center line. So we're gonna snap to vertex from left to right or right to left, whichever you like. Finish and let's name it turning head of row B. So turning head row B and then hit OK. And then channel skirt and footway selected. And then we're gonna pick for the width 3.1 in this case. And we don't want a footway in this case as well. So we're gonna hit OK and then create junction. And our footway will get cut off there. Here we have a layby, and here the road width increases and there is no footpath. So I'm gonna show you briefly how we do these amendments and I will follow it up with a more detailed tutorial. So let's go do the layby first, which is easy and nice to do. It feels good to do it actually. We're gonna go to the next button uh, next to the center line, which is channel and footway tool. Now when we select this one, it prompts us to select a channel or a footway. In this case, because the layby will be part of the carriageway as well, we're gonna need to edit the channel. So we select the right hand channel and then it will have few options. In this case, we're going to use the second one, Add Widening. When we click on Add Widening, it will automatically try to prompt the start change, and you can see the start change changing. Now, if we snap here, it will start picking up the end change. So we're going to snap here. That's where we want. And then once you've done that, you can hit OK. And you can see we created the first shape. Now we're not gonna hit apply changes yet because we wanna do the rest of the layby. So we're gonna snap again here and then here and then hit okay. And then you can see it created the shape. Now if we hit the uh, completion flag and apply changes, you can see it created our layby simple as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's do the road width again. So we go channels and footway tools. We're gonna select the channel line and we're gonna go add widening. We're gonna snap and then snap here. Hit OK because we don't have anything else here. We're just gonna go apply changes. And we're gonna do the same one for the other side. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to add the parallel. So the first command. So the add parallel basically what it does is literally creates a rectangular and shifts up. So we're gonna select it and again start change and change. So we're gonna start from here and terminate here and then you can see we need to snap along any line and we're gonna snap along here if we hit okay you can see created this now to resolve this and have the curve we can add the widening so we're gonna start say snap to vertex we're gonna start from here all the way to there hit okay and then apply changes and we've got our row widening now we need to edit the footway so we go channels and footway tools we're gonna select the footway line and then we're gonna do the add parallel we're gonna select the first point and then we're gonna go all the way here so we should be at minus not zero zero is here so we need to be here at the end so just hover your mouse beyond it and then it will prompt us like how much you want to widen it well we can just type offset zero hit ok and you can see the yellow line shows us a new shape so if we hit apply changes it it removes the footpath and we're gonna do the same for the other side add parallel we're gonna snap here and then go all the way there and beyond and then this one we see we're extending it but if we go the other direction it becomes the offset becomes zero left click and then hit okay and then apply changes and voila now let's view it in 3d so we can feel good with ourselves so let's maximize the screen and you can see We've got our existing road, we tied in, then we've got our junction, and we've got the nice curves. And then we've got the turning head, and also now we've got the footpath and then the road widening here. Let's remove the surface topographical survey just so you can see it. There you go. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or go to my forum and ask the questions there and maybe someone else will answer them for you in case I don't know the answer. Obviously, I don't know every answer to every question. And I would like to thank everyone again for supporting this channel. And we have reached the 1000 subscribers mark. And let's go for the 2000 subscriber mark. So 
hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.